As they relaunch plans for their charity foundation in the U.S., the Prince and Princess of Wales have their sights set on the home ground of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The royal couple interrupted their summer vacation to finish the necessary paperwork because they were eager to obtain the approval from the American trademark authorities for registering the foundation's brand. These days, mental health is the foundation's main priority. According to insiders, the bold move is another proof that the 42-year-old princess is on the road to recovery from her cancer as she gets ready to resume light duties following chemotherapy. While it's important to emphasize that there are no urgent plans to travel abroad, it raises the possibility of a trip to the U.S., where Prince Harry and Meghan reside in California. In 2022, the pair traveled across the Atlantic for Williams' environmental initiative, the Earthshot Prize. Kate showed last week how her charity work comes first. She discussed her early years initiative in her first private meeting following the end of her therapy. One of the main tenets of the princess's humanitarian endeavors has always been the value of raising children under five. Her participation in Trooping the Color in June and her presentation of the Wimbledon Men's Trophy were her only other court appearances this year. The Royal Foundation filed an application for a new U.S. trademark last year that focused on mental health initiatives, but the plans were shelved following Kate's cancer diagnosis. The plans have been revived, as the Moes can now disclose, by a U.S. attorney representing Kensington Palace. Prior to now, American efforts have concentrated on the illicit wildlife trade. On the other hand, Campaigning and fundraising connected to mental health initiatives were highlighted in an application submitted to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office last year. A strange request for printed race numbers, clothing, footwear, and headgear was also included, which gave rise to rumors that the couple, both avid runners, were organizing a fun run for charity in the U.S. Due to technicalities, their trademark was rejected in March. The princess disclosed her cancer diagnosis in the same month and the application had been inactive for five months. But a lawyer recommenced the procedure after receiving positive news regarding her progress. Internal housekeeping is the trademark, according to palace sources, and there are currently no intentions by the Royal Foundation to start a U.S. mental health campaign. However, Richard Palmer, a royal analyst, stated, This is a positive sign that the Princess and William have hopes of expanding the Royal Foundation in the U.S., given speculation that the princess might never return to full-time work. Maybe it wants to become more well-known in order to reach out to American philanthropists? Joe Little from Majesty Magazine continued, saying, It's another indication that the princess is getting better. We can only view this as a positive step because it is evident that this application has been carefully considered and planned. Kensington Palace has not responded to inquiries.